Yes, they have bananas. 160 million boxes a year, to be exact. Chiquita and Fife's are merging to form the world's new top banana. It's a highly concentrated market with a handful of players that also includes Dole, Del Monte, and Naboa of Ecuador. Together, the top five control three quarters of the trade. How will regulators view this latest deal? Bet on lengthy reviews on both sides of the Atlantic. Surprisingly, company executives seem relaxed about the whole thing. One argument, they're active in different markets and segments. Chiquita at a slightly higher price point than Fife's. They also note that today it's retailers who have all the power. Those arguments may not hold much water in Washington or Brussels. They will be concerned about cutting the number of banana majors from four to three. It's come up in several non-banana cases in the EU, most recently in telecoms. With a mass consumer product like bananas, the four to three worry is stronger. Chiquita and Fife's may also end up having to notify the deal in Ecuador, the world's largest banana exporter. If the authority would, uh, um, would request it, it would expect to see the potential benefits that this merger um, would, be, would be producing for Ecuador. Uh, specifically, it would, it would see if the, um, if the merger would benefit the country's economy, the technology, its competitiveness and worker participation in the deal. Uh, specifically in the company's capital. That's exactly what Coca-Cola had to do to get clearance for a dairy deal in Ecuador earlier this year. It'll probably take a while for Chiquita and Fife's to notify their deal and work out what they may need to give up to get approval. Will regulators force a banana split? Read more on the deal pipeline. I'm Renee Cordes with The Deal in Brussels.